All right, what's going on guys? It's your boys, Dutchie. Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Masters video. In today's video, we're going to be using DPE inside of Drytron. But again, this is not going to be uh, a video where I'm using the deck. I'm actually using a replay from a friend of mine. His name is Arajin on Discord. He's a really good Drytron player. Uh, he helped me out a lot with a lot of deck builds and a lot of like top tier meta ideas for the deck. So definitely definitely if you guys have any questions i'm probably gonna leave his discord link in the description you guys can probably talk to him ask him about some stuff i don't know if he's cool with it i'll ask him afterwards but yeah today we're gonna be looking at a replay by origin where he used dpe uh he had he was going against a caillou player and he got his entire board cleaned completely wiped and he was still able to win with the megalith drytron version all right so we're gonna take a look at that so before we do Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video, hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe, all this stuff. And yeah, let's just hop straight into it. All right, so right here, it looks like he's going first. No Drychons in hand. Keep note that there's not a single Drychon in his hand right now. But he does have a bunch of Megaliths, right? So he's going to go ahead and activate the... Is that the Bethor? What, what, what was that? I can't even tell. The Bethor, yep. The, then he's going to bring out the Ophiel. Tributing the Ben 10. Ben 10's effect activates where she can now bring a diviner or any fairy to the hand right so he's probably gonna add the diviner here but you're gonna dissect this together right so that way you guys know how to make the plays so he's gonna add diviner perfect he added the, the the full so he can make the plays as well he's gonna bring out the full here perfect full will activate his effect to bring back the ben 10 so let's pause it there real quick so the reason why i like using full is because even though ben 10 is at one it's like you still can use uh, Ben 10 twice thanks to the full. Unfortunately, if they have like a called by or something uh, on their second turn, because they can't activate it now, obviously. But if they do and you're going second, well, then that's just G G's. But it, fortunately here, he's going first. So he's able to use Ben 10 twice, right? So that's really, really good. That's why I really like the Megalith version after Banlist, right? So he goes ahead and normal summons out the Diviner. Diviner send Herald. Herald will add the Perfection. He's using the Perfection, not the Ultimateness. He's going to go ahead and go into the uh, Beatrice, which is perfect. Beatrice goes, sends the Diviner. He's going to send the uh, Alpha. Alpha is going to activate. This is just normal Drytron combos at this point. He uses the Benten effect twice. He's going to add another Diviner. I don't know if he's using Orange Light in here, but... We'll see. He's going to go ahead and summon out the Perfection. And then he has two negates in hand and he's going to pass his turn. That's about as good as he could do right here because he didn't open up with any Drytrons, obviously. Right, so he's going to end up getting some negates in hand, though. Pretty sure. He does run the orange. Okay, so he's going to have one. Yeah, so he has four negates in hand, so he's looking really good, but the opponent had Maxi and he has Caillou deck, so he's going to end up clearing out his entire board here. But our, our man Arjun had his own act, Maxi and he's out here drawing. This is really good. So he ended up drawing into some Drytron. There you go. So the opponent's just doing Caillou plays here. Um, Monster Reborn, he's going to bring back his Caillou monster, obviously. I don't think he's able to attack with this, so he might not be able to win this turn. And it's going to give us our Arigen a chance to come back from this. And look at his hand. This is ridiculous. His hand is insane. Like, what is this? Oh my god. So, he's going to go ahead and activate the Alpha, attributing the... I forgot what he attributed, to be honest with you, but he attributed something. He added a bunch of monsters. Okay, this is just typical Drytron combos at this one, right? So he gets to add that back. Activate Zeta. Does he have two? Oh no, he has one, okay. He's gonna bring back the full, which is perfect. All right, full is gonna be right here. So full, um, full is gonna activate, bringing back the Ben 10. So this is three Ben 10s, all right? This is the third time he's using Ben 10. He's going to activate that to use Ben 10 to bring out. What is he bringing out? Is this a Bethor? Oh no, Perfection, sorry. I don't even know why I thought Bethor was coming. Ben that's used to summon Perfection. Anyway, so he's going to add back the Ben 10. And he's going to use Ben 10. He's using Ben 10 four different times, okay? This is crazy. Alright, so. Perfect. He's going to add the Eva in the hand. 
activate the Delta to draw one. He brought the... He was able to get the um, Fusion Destiny in hand here. Then he's gonna go into the Mu Beta. Mu Beta send the uh, Gamma. Gamma activate. Yep. So he's gonna be able to go into a bunch of stuff here. If he didn't have this in hand, he could have gone into the Verte instead of the Mascarina. And then, you know, obviously going to DPE that way. But it looks like right here, he's gonna be able to just. Oh, wait, maybe? So it goes straight to Unicorn. Unicorn activate. He's going to send one back to the deck. Then he's probably going to go into the Access Code Talker here. Perfect. Access Code Talker. Which is really, really good. And he's going to gain that attack. And he destroys a card on the field. Activates this to bring forth DPE. And now his field is completely perfect. Like, look at his hand. This, so, <laughs> he OTKs this way, but honestly, he, if this was his first turn play, there's nothing he could have done here, honestly. He has DPE, which, which obviously destroys a card on the field, then brings himself back there in the standby phase. He has a bunch of negates in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven negates in hand. <laughs> and it's just like... This is insane. If he went, if he didn't go into the um, Axis Code and Unicorn, he would have had Mascarina on the field for his turn, first turn play, and that would have been that. And honestly, people say Drychon's dead, but as you can see, clearly it's not. Uh, he had Maxi in his in his hand, obviously, but if he didn't have Maxi, he would have probably had like a different card, right? Like that's not a brick. So at the end of the day, Drychon's not. And it just depends on how you play it, right? The, the list that you have. I'm not. I don't know if I'm gonna have the deck list in the description for this one, um, simply because I don't have his deck list. He's gonna have to send it to me. Uh, you can probably check back later throughout the day. I'll add it in. But um, like I said, this deck is still really good. Uh, Destiny Hero, Phoenix DPE definitely increases this deck's value since the ban list of Ben 10 at one. So. Personally, I think this is going to be the way to uh, move forward with Drytron, is with the Megalith package, right? The Drytron Herald, at least. And I do still think that Herald of Perfection is better than Ultimateness, because like, as you see right here, like he was able to bring him out like so many times. Uh, Ultimateness, you could probably bring out once at max, right? Once, if he destroys it. <laughs> GG. But uh, ulti uh, what's this card name? Perfection has such consistency with the deck right like i don't even know how to explain it but the ability to be able to use ben 10 that many times is really really good that was four times he was able to use ben 10 even after the ban list at one as you guys can see he was able to refill his hand he was able to bring out the uh phoenix enforcer have a bunch of negates in his hand and just secure the w on this one but yeah this is all I wanted to show you guys. There's really not much for me to show because I've done so many videos on this deck already. If you guys really, really want a tutorial on how to use the Megalith the Dry Chons, definitely hit the like button on this. I will make it some point. Uh, I'll show you guys how to go into the DPE at the end of your first turn so that we have even more protection so they don't even know who to use a Caillou monster on, right? Unless you have like a Lava Golem, then you should be fine. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see something like that, definitely let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. If this video can hit maybe close to 200 likes, then we'll definitely come back and we'll do a tutorial on the Dry Draw Megalith. Right? And I'll even give you my version of the deck. Like I'll give you like a whole deck list, obviously, and I have it in the description. And, you know, just do that. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys want to finish it, see who wins. I'm pretty sure he wins right here. Battle phase going for the attack, yeah. Yeah, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe, all this stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.